That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Growing up in the foster care system, I have my man Bob here all the way from the West Coast. He is uh, no stranger to the show, and um, I am glad to welcome him here. Before I do that, though, I want you all to continue to subscribe. Thank you for the subscribers that I've given thus far. I want you to hit that notification bell so that you can get the updates. Definitely, you got to do that. Like, comment, and most of all, share so everyone can be involved with this movement. Growing up in the foster care system, as I mentioned earlier, I have my man, Bob. He's going to talk about his experiences and hopefully some of y'all can relate or hopefully he can share some some um, some stories or share a story so that it can help others who uh, have uh, gone through the system and, and, and may, maybe uh, having a little difficulty dealing with life and what have you. So with that being said, I'm going to turn the show over to Bob. Welcome, Bob. Hey, thank you. How, How you done? doing? I'm I'm doing great. How about yourself? Okay. I'm doing alright. Just getting off work and whatnot. And I'm now um, about to do this story time, and I'm excited to to do it, man. Uh, what, what's been happening since the last time we talked? Oh man, well I got into a relationship, and um, congratulations. It's just definitely been awesome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And uh, she's she's really an amazing woman. I I couldn't ask for better in my life. Um, and you know. It's been the distance learning. Um, went through a, I think I was just starting the college semester when. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. And so I finished that off, and I don't know how the heck I pulled it off, but I pulled it off with straight A's. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah congratulations. Congratulations. So, and how are your kids doing? You know they're they're doing good. Um, they <clears throat> they've had their trials in life, but they are doing good. They're doing good in school, and we actually. Um, got a puppy about two weeks ago or so so that's that's been an interesting experience <laughs> oh god I, I had a puppy but i gave it well my little girl had one and we had to give it away because she had no time for it so I was, we all yeah. kind of said that day so oh, <laughs> anyway we're going to talk about growing up in the foster care system so uh tell give us some a little, little uh background information in terms of what happened and, and we'll work our way through the story all Go right ahead. so essentially um my mom's boyfriend was an alcoholic um and you know my mom did the best that she could she was a single mom of uh four you know, including myself and i was uh the only one in my family who had any visual impairment or anything um and as we grew there were just some things that weren't right at home and um i, I can't remember what led to my brother going to the hospital uh back then and you know we were in our teens um my older brother he uh had turned 18 and he went to boot camp for the army in fort jackson south carolina but my little brother was um taken to the hospital um and uh it wasn't anything from home it was an outside incident and he was telling them at the hospital about uh my mom's boyfriend's drinking problem and some of the things that were going on at home and it started off that um that summer it was in um man it's so long ago mm -hmm. it was a, the summer of 2000 actually it was right after my grandmother died and um basically um <clears throat> basically what happened was is that I was up in my room, I think I was reading a book or something, and I heard my little sister saying, Bob, they're taking JJ away, and I flew down those stairs. I don't even know, I don't even know if my feet touched a single stair on the way down. Like, And I, I flew out the front door, I was like 16 years old uh, back then, and this car pulled out of the driveway and drove off. and. Um, I just started bawling because I didn't know what was going on and my little brother was just taken away and um, 
I, I mean, I just started bawling and all of a sudden the car comes back and I guess my, my little brother had seen me and, um, basically, um, he, he asked if they could turn back. And so the car turned back and he came and gave me a hug. Mm. 